All right, howdy all, it's Aaron here. Today I wanna to share with you how to increase profit in your online store. All right, so as always, make sure that you grab something to take notes with and stick around to the end where I'm gonna share with you the two most important numbers you need to understand and the software we use to make it happen. All right, so number one is a personalized customer journey. From the first time someone sees or hears about your brand, they start to form opinions about them. So when we were kids, coming in on Monday with a new pair of Nikes was by far one of the coolest experiences. Everyone would come up to you and start to compliment you on your shoes. And at that early age, everyone knew that, hey, if you had Nikes, you were quote unquote cool or in or whatever. And I still think that is applying today. Um, Franklin is over here with, with Jordans, but the same applies to whether it's Nike or Jordan, it's about the brand. So the brand experience starts early. The same goes for you and your customers, reverse engineer their experience. All right, so what do you want them to feel when they receive their first package from you? How do you want them to track the package? How do you want them to be able to experience your brand, right? A lot of people believe that like, oh, the experience is only like in person, but it's also the emails that they get, the text message updates that they get, it's everything that goes along with that brand. That is all part of the experience. How can you wow them at every single step? Do this one, I promise you, the customer will come back to buy again and again. All right, before we cover number two, I just wanna say howdy. My name is Aaron, I'm one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding, and we're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing boutiques and apparel brands grow and scale profitably online. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest strategies for clothing boutiques and apparel brands. We drop new content every single week. All right, so number two, spend more time on creative and less on ads. Now, I don't know the magical number here, but every boutique is different, every apparel brand is different, um, but you can focus on the user experience with great creative on Facebook. It's gonna prioritize you over the competition. I can promise you that. Facebook does not, well, they do want your money, but even more than your money, they want your valuable asset, attention. This is our creative setup to continually test. All right, so we run with these types of creative. Three lifestyle photos, three graphics, two collection style videos, and one TikTok style video. Now, honestly, the TikTok style videos are actually starting to produce better than the other collection style videos, which collection videos, if you don't know, are more so really quick, fast paced, sometimes have music of the products. So just to give you an idea there, TikTok style, music, fast paced, uh, trendy. Those have been doing really well. All right, so number three, go broad with your advertising. The cheapest cost per thousand impressions, what Facebook charges you for, is when you are able to give Facebook more data, the broader you go, the bigger the net you have, the more opportunities that Facebook has an opportunity to gather more information. All right, so going broad works if you have a 200 to $250 a day budget with great creative, or you can run ads for a long period of time. Facebook needs data to figure out your audience and then it will begin to get better and better at the results that it's gonna deliver to you. Interest targeting is a short-term fix and may get results for the next three to four weeks, but Broad will help you get the ROI that you need for the next three to four months and years to come. All right, so before I show you the two most important numbers in your business to increase profit, I wanted to tell you about our free masterclass training for clothing boutiques and apparel brands They'll walk you through the five pillars that you must have in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably, no matter what is going on in the world right now. Make sure you check the description for the link on that training. All right, so number four is AOV and LTV. If you know what these acronyms are uh, and what they mean and are able to find them and how to improve them, you're gonna be able to do very well online. So AOV is average order value. Basically, it's the total number of people who have been to your site who made a purchase and the average amount that those people spent on your store. So if there's 10 people who all spend $10, your average order value is $10. Very simple number. If you have Shopify or something similar, it's gonna tell you right there what the average order value is. And LTV is lifetime value. Now you can do a lifetime value over three months, over six months, over 12 months. It really just depends for your business. And really you need to figure out, okay, what is, and I like to do this for, for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days just to see how much one customer is worth so that you know how much you can acquire a customer for and continue to run ads or emails to them to become profitable. Because honestly, if you can improve these numbers, your business is gonna be in a very good position. You need to focus on increasing AOV and LTV. You do those two things and do that in conjunction with where you wanna go with your sales and it's gonna improve no matter what. 
We honestly used to improve these numbers manually, but found an amazing tool and at a very good price point that does it all for us. Uh, now that we know the numbers, we can focus on ways to improve each number every week. 1% better every week. I know some people like to say like 1% better every day. I think that's like a big compound. But anyway, 1% better every week. That's what you should focus on. All right, so if you want an exclusive deal for Triple Well, make sure that you check the description below. And if you're like most clothing boutiques or apparel brands, you're trying to figure out how to make your ads work, you're trying to figure out how to keep your business profitable, you're trying to figure out how to continue to move your business forward. And if that's you, you have to check out our next video right here on how to run Facebook ads for clothing brands. It's a great place for you to start. All right, guys, have a great week.